taken apart the bolts on the Ross steering box. I'm just gonna take off these four bolts, this one right here, and these three right here, and the whole entire box should come apart so we can try to rebuild this. I got the three bolts off. And we need to pull this apart. There's a few shims in there and lots and lots of grease. I got the four bolts off and here's the inside. Whoa, that looks like a lot of work to clean this out. Got the uh, pitman arm heated up. And in between, and I got in between two two by fours. I'm gonna try to pound this nut down. To maybe release that. You're almost through. I think it's such a pretty serious angle here. Okay, well, what do, you, what do you want to do then? How do you want to turn? Oh, yeah, I see what you mean. So much for that gear <laughs> replacement coming. We we're gonna rebuild it anyways, so don't wanna crack the housing, the old Ross housing. There it says Ross right on it. So we don't, don't wanna do that because these I don't know if you can get these anymore. Another new old stock. serious metal okay so what we're uh, gonna do here we took out this cage bearing for from this from the housing that this one came out very easily and there's another one back in on the other side and uh, we had to get put to put together a really clever tool really what this is is a deep socket with an extender and it fits nicely right down into the hole to give even pressure on that cage bearing. Then you take your old trusty two pound hammer and just give it a couple taps. It's kind of tight, but you can see from the bottom, it'll just shoot right out. 
and that's how you get the other one out when it's difficult to get there. So keep that in mind with this trusty tool.